Hi, Glover Kids. Hi, Cunningham Kids. Hi, Golly God Kids. Hi, Tucker Kids. Today we're doing some decorative painting, and I'm going to show you how to do a particular paint stroke. So you will need some paint. You can use acrylic or tempera for this. Watercolor, mm, it might work, it, it may not. I would try like a, a, a thicker paint for this. You will need some kind of drawing that you've done. I've done um, a couple of flower drawings. I think those are best to show you by example with this project. Um, you will need some paint brushes. Uh, try not to use teeny tiny paint brushes for this. Um, your paintbrush should be somewhat wide so you can see that it has sides. So some kind of a square shape like these two. Um, this kind of brush with this kind of tip, not so great. Um, this is also might be too small as well. So something like this or bigger or wider would be perfect. You'll also need a small bowl of water. And of course, something to put the paint on. I just have a, a paper plate, okay? So I'm gonna move my bottles of paint over to make some room for myself here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you that specific stroke with the paintbrush that I was talking about. And <clears throat> the trick to this project is what we're going to do is put paint on one half of our brush bristles and then a different color of paint on the other half of our brush. Okay. So I'm going to dip my brush in some peach color paint here. So the paint is only on one side of my brush and then I'm going to dip the other side of my brush in another color. So you can see it there. I've got peach on one side and sort of a reddish pink on the other side. So now when I paint a stroke with my paintbrush, I should see both colors and it, it presents sort of a, a cool effect without very much effort. So I'll do right here and I'll hold it up so you can see. See that? That was so easy and it made a really cool effect. So now I'm going to paint um, one of the flowers that I drew. This one up here sort of looks like a daisy. I'm going to paint that using this particular stroke. So I'm going to load up my paint and my brush again a little bit. So peach. I'm going to show you how that turned out. It's cool, right? See, you wouldn't be able to get that effect if you just used one color. Right? So I'm going to keep going and do the rest of my flower. And sometimes I twist the brush handle a little bit, especially if the petal on my flower comes to a point. Get some more paint. That was cool, that, that stroke that I just did. Need some more paint. So each of my petals turned out a little bit different. See that? Try to get that a little closer so you can see. So 
so I have another flower that I drew down here. It's sort of like a tulip style flower. And I have some leaves and the stem on there. So I'm gonna do the leaves and the stem with some green and some yellow. And I'm gonna use the same kind of stroke. Clean off my brush here. Oh, actually, maybe I can use a different brush now. I'll use this one. It's got sort of an angle to it. Maybe it'll give me another cool effect. Okay. So I've got green on one side. And some yellow on the other. Come on, yellow. Yellow is not cooperating. Okay, so I've got green on one side and yellow on the other side. And it won't be perfect on my brush. It won't be like a perfect line dividing the colors. That's okay. So I'll do this leaf down here. And I'll do the stem too, that might look cool with the yellow and green. Here we go. Green. Yellow. I'll try that again. I feel like I didn't have enough yellow on my brush. And I want to try like two more color combinations to do the f the flower, the tulip there. Um I think I'll try the yellow. No. What should I do? Kind of a turquoise here. I'll try the turquoise and what? I do the turquoise and that red. hardly see the turquoise but it's probably not dark enough oh that was cool You go ahead and experiment with your paints and whatever paint brushes that you have and have fun painting and I hopefully will see you in my next video.